What's up NFL fans, welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. Week one is finally in the books. We have 16 teams that are undefeated, 16 teams with one loss. We have week two on the way. So without further ado, let's hop into my week two predictions. Starting off Thursday night, Buffalo Bills versus the Miami Dolphins. In the last five games, the Buffalo Bills have gotten the Miami Dolphins numbers. And I do think that this time it will be different. I think the Miami Dolphins will take this game at home. It may take a Jason Sanders kick to win it for them. Um, but until the Dolphins give me a reason not to take them at home, I'm going to continue to take the Dolphins at home. Very tough divisional matchup. Both teams had great come from behind victories. The Bills over the Cardinals. The Dolphins over the Jaguars. Bills have a revamped defense. Same thing with their offense and the, the times that they've beaten the Dolphins, they had a nice, solid offense and defensive core. Everything's changed now, and I just don't think that they'll keep up with this high-octane Miami Dolphins offense at home this time around. So starting off with the first game in Week 2, the Dolphins take it at home. So Dolphins, money line. Next, we have the New York Jets versus the Tennessee Titans. I'm going to select the New York Jets in this game. Um, will Levis has is not looking good, and I don't think that he will shred this Jets pass defense. I think Aaron Rodgers will have a very great game this time around um, with the game against the San Francisco 49ers. It was a pretty rough start, but he did eventually get it together. So I do think that they will come back and bounce back and beat the Tennessee Titans. So we will get the Jets money line versus the Titans. Next, we have the Las Vegas Raiders going to the Baltimore Ravens. And I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens money line. I just don't think that the Las Vegas Raiders have the team to keep up with the Baltimore Ravens. I think it's a game where Derrick Henry is probably going to run the ball 25 to 30 times. They, they didn't utilize him a lot. In week one against the Kansas City Chiefs, I think that came that game plan changes. Don't think the Raiders just keep up with the, the Ravens. I think the Ravens can win this game by at least 10 points. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Baltimore Ravens money line. Next, we got the New Orleans Saints versus the Dallas Cowboys. The Panthers made their car look like an MVP candidate. Meanwhile, the Dallas Cowboys just made the Browns look like a bad team. Um, but all in all, I'm going to select the Cowboys at home money line to beat the New Orleans Saints. I think that the high of Derek Carr, what he's feeling right now, comes crashing down. I think the Cowboys defense causes havoc for the Saints team. And I just don't think that the Saints are going to be able to stop Dak and Lamb. So I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys to beat the New Orleans Saints by a touchdown. So give me the, the Cowboys money line. We got the Los Angeles Chargers versus the Carolina Panthers. I am not taking the Carolina Panthers this time. Um, the Chargers are probably going to run the ball down their throats. I think Jim Harbaugh starts his 2024 campaign 2-0. I just, I have no faith in this Panthers team. I have no faith of Tepper leading this organization until he leaves this offense. I don't think I'm probably going to take the Panthers to win a game moving forward until things change. Um, but Bryce is not looking good. This team is not looking good and they got embarrassed by the Saints. So I think the Chargers will beat this Panthers team probably by 10 points. So give me the Chargers money line. Colts versus the Green Bay Packers. Um, I think both teams are probably going to run the ball the hell out of each other. The Packers are probably going to have no choice but to have a smash mouth type style with Jordan Love being out for the next few weeks with the sprained MCL. And now Malik Willis is the starting quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. Um, the, the, I doubt Matt LaFleur is going to expect Malik Willis to do Jordan Love things. So I think they're going to ease down the playbook and pretty much be a run-heavy team until Love comes back. And then the Colts, Anthony Richardson, Jonathan Taylor, and then Anthony Richardson has a strong arm to throw bombs. Um, I think the Colts win it in a close one. I think this game comes down to a field goal. Um, so I'm going to take the Colts' money line. It hurts as I am a Packers fan, but... Colts will probably win this game by a field goal. I just don't have much faith in Willis as a quarterback as he may be asked to throw the ball. 
Um, but Colts money line. Seattle Seahawks versus New Orleans versus the New, New England Patriots. Um, the Seahawks dominated the Broncos. Gerard Mayo got his first win as a head coach. I am going to go upset here. Give me the upset in week two. I'm going to select the Patriots to take down the Seattle Seahawks. I think the Patriots defense will probably shut down Geno Smith. And I think Jacoby Brissett is smart enough to slow the game down, control the clock, be a little bit of a game manager here, and keep the ball away from the Seahawks. So I think the Patriots carry that momentum to week two, get an upset, and take down the Seattle Seahawks. So I'm going to upset Patriots money line. Next, we got the New York Giants versus the Washington Commanders. And yeah, these two teams did not look good. The New York Giants made Sam Darnold look like an MVP quarterback, and the Commanders helped Baker Mayfield have a career day. With that being said, between these two teams, I'm probably going to take the Commanders' money line here. I think Jaden Daniels' dual third ability keeps them in the game, even though both defenses suck. Um, I'm just going to have to give it to Jaden Daniels to extend the plays and move the change and help this offense probably score more points than the New York Giants. And I have no faith in Daniel Jones. I cannot select the Giants to win a game with Daniel Jones at quarterback. And as long as Daniel Jones is a starting quarterback for the New York Giants, you're pretty much telling your fans that you are tanking. So I am not selecting the Giants due to Daniel Jones being the quarterback. So give me the commander's money line. Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Detroit Lions. It's going to be a very tough game. I think this game will probably come down to uh, a backdoor touchdown. Um, I have the Lions money line. I think they'll win at home. The Lions are a very dominant team at home. Um, but I do see it will get to the point where Baker Mayfield is going to sling the ball and probably just throw on the Detroit Lions pass defense to kind of play keep up. And try to make it close, but I think the Lions take this one at home. So I'm going to take money line Detroit Lions at home. We got the Cleveland Browns versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm going to select the Jacksonville Jaguars at home to take down the Cleveland Browns. The Browns do have a solid defense at home. They do not play the best when playing defense away. I think this is where... Uh, the Jaguars will not blow a lead, and I think they will hold on to the W in this game. Deshaun Watson, even though it was not his fault the whole entire game, it's not looking good. The Browns look better with Joe Flacco as quarterback, and I don't have any faith in this Browns offense with Watson as quarterback. So give me the Jacksonville Jaguars money line. The loss Angeles Rams versus the Arizona Cardinals. Very, very interesting game. The Cardinals did blow a lead versus the Bills. The Bills, they come back and take them down. And then the Rams did lose in overtime against the Detroit Lions. I am going to select the Arizona Cardinals this game. I know Sean McVay has his numbers against the Arizona Cardinals. But during that time, Aaron Darnold... Aaron Donald was the defensive tackle, and he has most of his sacks against the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals sneak away in this game, and it is a big blow to this Rams offense with Puka Nakua going to the IR. I think it will be a very close game down to the wire. I think the Cardinals will probably take this one at home in a very, very close game. Then we have the 49ers versus the Minnesota Vikings. Darnold did look good, but that was against the New York Giants subpar defense. I'm going to take the 49ers to take the Vikings. I just don't think that the Vikings have what it takes to take down this 49ers team. The 49ers are one of the hottest team in the NFC. And yeah, I don't think Darnold has that kind of game like he had against the Giants against the 49ers. So the hot start for the Vikings ends here. And we're going to have the 49ers money line. Cincinnati Bengals versus the Kansas City Chiefs. The Bengals, that was sad to lose to New Orleans Patriots. But the Bengals do love to have slow starts before they kind of kick into high gear around week four, week five. And then the Kansas City Chiefs defeated the Ravens Thursday night. 
I'm taking the Chiefs money line here. If the Bengals lost to the Patriots, I don't see them having any chance to defeat the Chiefs in this game. Um, the Chiefs have a very strong defense, especially the pass defense. The Bengals are going to want to throw the ball a lot because Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, they love to throw the ball. Don't think they have a chance shredding this Chiefs defense. So Mahomes gets the W. The Chiefs win this game. Chiefs start 2-0. Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Denver Broncos. Give me the money line, Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't think that Bo Nix is going to have a good game in this against the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. I think the Steelers defense is going to win this game for them. Again, I don't think the offense is, is going to have to do much work to defeat the Broncos. The Steelers are going to cause havoc and stress Bo Nix out again like he had in that week one game against the Seahawks. So give me the Steelers money line to take down the Denver Broncos. Sunday night, Chicago Bears versus the Houston Texans. I'm going to take the Houston Texans to take down the Bears, probably in a close game. The Bears do have a good defense. I think they'll do their best to mitigate some big plays from C.J. Stroud. But I don't think Caleb Williams and this offense have what it takes to play keep up with this Houston Texans offense. So I'm going to take the Houston Texans Sunday night football money line at home. Last but not least, we have the Atlanta Falcons traveling to Philadelphia to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. I am taking the Philadelphia Eagles money line. The Atlanta Falcons will start the season 0-2. Meanwhile, the Philadelphia Eagles start 2-0. I just don't see... The Falcons taking down this offense. Um, Saquon had a very great game in week one. Three touchdowns. And I just don't see the Falcons defense stopping this elite offense. And Kirk did not look good in week one. Um, maybe it was just chicken off the rust a bit. Um, it was a very subpar performance for the Falcons. But I just don't see a way of this Falcons team beating the Philadelphia Eagles in Philadelphia. So give me Philadelphia Eagles money line. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your predictions on these week two slates. Thank you so much for watching and catch you next week.